Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a nature read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah, dang, I didn't turn off the Pandora, but it's okay. I think you guys can hear me okay. Um, this is a nature reading. There's no wind right now, so we're doing it outside. Um, let's go ahead and get started in case the wind picks up, you know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull five cards here for the collective. This is a timeless reading, you guys. Remember, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? I'm not going to try to put any weird ideas into your head here. <laughs> Just going to do the reading, and we're going to find some solutions, right? All right. You get five cards for the collective for whoever's, whoever's uh, catching this video. I need a uh, card for the energy of the person watching. Okay, this is the Antique Anatomy Tarot. I like to use this deck every so often. The grip, in my grip is not doing so good. Let's give this a try. Let me get five cards, there we go. Oh, and the wind picked up, you guys. Here's the first card though, okay. Card, the uh, situation. You know what? It's okay, you guys. You know why? <laughs> because I have the stones here for such an occasion. So they don't flip out and go all over, right? Let me get, uh, let me get five. Check those stones out later if we need to, but it's not really part of the reading. Or I don't know, you never know. And depending on which one I grab, or which order, right? These ones I already put them in order, okay? <laughs> so, all right. So I need a card uh, for the potential of the situation, please. A card for the potential of the situation. Okay, here's the first card that came out. We have the Two of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something. Okay. Let me get a card for um, the obstacle here. Okay, what is the obstacle? I haven't really gotten into the reading yet, you know, so. What is the obstacle here for whoever's catching this video? Thank goodness they're getting stopped along the way, so I don't have to go chase them down. <laughs> Finally, the outcome. The outcome. What is the outcome of this situation? What is the outcome of the on top of that. All right. We have the scorpion, right? This is about defense and self-protection. So you could be in that energy. I don't know. Take what resonates, right? And the energy we have for you is the seven of pentacles, all right? This is about uh, waiting, planting some seeds, and trying to wait for those seeds to grow, right? Um, You could be thinking about several different people, and you could be going through uh, a lot of different emotions right now. Um, yeah, that's what I'm 
seeing. Uh, there also could be, uh, there could be some uh, chit chat about you, possibly, and uh, what you've been going through. And also about, there's also a little bit of chit chat, and it's like chit chat, and it's kind of like making fun a little bit, which is that somebody might be making fun of your, some, some of your sorrows. And that could be, okay, that could be why, uh, I guess this, the stones will resonate. That could be why you are defensive and you're protecting yourself, okay, because there might be a lot of chit chat or talk going on about you. And it's not very nice, and it's at the expense of your emotions, okay? Um, all right, we, this is the Roadrunner, you guys. Now, the Roadrunner is about um, mental speed and agility, right? And this is the situation uh, at hand here. This is about having to think quick. So maybe you have to do that on your job, right? Maybe uh, you are going to be in a situation where you're going to have to think quick. Hey, maybe you're going to be on a game show. No. It could be a situation similar to that, but not the actual game show. Um, but, or maybe uh, you're going to be uh, questioned and you're going to have to think quickly, maybe in a court of law. Right? What is this situation involving here? It is the Nine of Rods, which is the Nine of Wands right it's in the reverse it's like you no longer have any fight and you left for this also um, there's something that you don't know so you can't quite be quick on that mental speed and agility because if you don't have all the information of something that you're dealing with you can't be quick on the draw when it comes to coming up with an answer right and usually people who are not being honest takes us an extra second or so for them to think about the answer so you might be questioned I do suggest that you be honest and say that you don't know you know if you don't you know don't make anything up um, don't just be honest because I have a feeling somebody's being tested here somebody's definitely Okay, so be careful on that, okay? Maybe you can and, or in the past have been able to come up with a quick answer, but right here, this is the time where that's not your, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying, okay? Because th that answer could get you in trouble here, all right? Um, don't fight this. Go with the flow is what I'm hearing, okay? Now the outcome of this situation is the two of pentacles, right? This is the partridge, or no, <laughs> I tried to guess it, you guys. Um, this is um, Coco Pelli, right? Joy, music, and fertility. So the situation at hand here could be about fertility, fidelity, I'm feeling infidelity fertility somebody may have been um multitasking with several different people perhaps somebody could have been doing the most juggling and now there seems to be an issue with fertility right infidelity i'm feeling fertility and infidelity now coco pelli there is the uh, spirit of joy and music so somebody could have been out partying and doing the most and getting all jacked up and boom fertility infidelity and so this could be why the court is going on here uh, somebody okay could be fertility court infidelity uh, this could have to do with divorce something like that I don't know um, but it's, you know, there's so many stories that I can take this to, but I'm not going to. So we're just going to say that there's somebody that might be dealing with infidelity or fertility issues when it comes to some sort of court case, all right? Um, and like I said before, 
Be as honest as possible. Okay? Do not lie. Do not... It can get you in trouble here. Okay? Look at that. We have the bear. Strength and introspection. Right? And this position right here, the one we cannot see, is... Uh, you know, I'm worried that... Let me get another stone because I'm kind of worried that this the clarifying cards are going to fly away. I didn't put a stone on them. Oh, here's a random stone that I'll go ahead and put on there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the bear, strength and introspection. Now this is the um, obstacle of the situation, right? Let's find out what the obstacle is. The hanged man. All right. So this could be a hung jury, right? Um, maybe you are going through a court battle and a decision has not been made, right? So you're unable to move forward or do whatever it is you need to do. Ooh, there's a big truck that's going to come rolling by here. This town is usually very quiet and slow, but hey, you know it happens. So we're just going to wait a moment as I ponder this card. I kind of feel like that it's a hung jury because there is something that's not being revealed. And that could be in this case where you want to be honest and tell the truth, right? And that, whatever is going on here when it comes to the court case, the obstacle is getting around whatever it is that you don't know here that you can't reveal or... You know, um, something like that. This is where do not tell a lie. Be honest here. Because if you lie, I also feel like the court could take longer because they're trying to find more proof and more this. And they're trying to drag the court case out. and That causes extra problems. And then when the court finds out that somebody's been lying, I think the punishment is more severe. So it's pr it probably behoove you to make the right choice, to tell the truth. The truth is always the best, right? Um, even if you might get in trouble, but you know, at least the punishment won't be as severe. <clears throat> Whatever this is, <laughs> right? All right. Because you know what? Infidelity in a marriage, you know, did you guys know that you can put your spouse in jail for cheating? Yes, you can. Um, and for those of you out there that didn't know, if you are married and your spouse cheats, you can't put them in jail. You can arrest, have them arrested. Okay. That's uh, a, some laws that I found in some states. Now, you might want to check your own state to see if that uh, applies. But, you know, I do know in some states that that does apply. All right. So, um, the final outcome here is uh, the Six of Blades, Right. And with this Six of Blades, what do we have here? We have the spider. All right. Now, the spider, the spider is about um, creativity and balance. So somebody does want this balanced out, but the problem is is somebody's trying to be uh, creative with their... <sighs> Uh, trying to be creative with their deception. So somebody here, maybe in this court battle, maybe trying to lie, trying to be creative, trying to come up with ways to deceive another, the other individual in the, uh, in the case. All right. I don't know how they're going to do it. Somebody may have been, uh, uh, somebody may have cheated and then somebody may have gotten pregnant, but they're trying, I think somebody's trying to come up with a way to... Oh, come up with a way where that might be okay. And you know what? <laughs> I don't want to tell the story that just came into my head, but it has to do with um, having threesomes, okay? So somebody may be trying to say that to get them off the hook because it was mutual or something like that. And that sucks. But that's when the proof is going to need to come in, okay, that, that this person or somebody agreed or whatever. 
So there might have to be another person brought into court when it comes to this, okay? <clears throat> All right, so uh, let's find out the, your energy, you know, the seven of pentacles about your emotions and what these people are, you know, what's going on here, what are they saying? All right, well, they know that you tried to start something new or you're wanting to start something new, you're wanting to stabilize your life, right? And, you know, you just went thought through or getting over something or going through something. And, you know, people around you are seeing that you just want to start something new and stable for yourself. But they're also doing that, you know, whispering behind your back, making fun of you, laughing at you, that you're upset or that, you know, things aren't working out in your favor. Just being very messed up like that. Um, yeah, something has come to an end or is coming to an end or is ended already uh, and this is why you're going through this it hasn't quite ended but yeah and that's what i told you see this is about crying or, or or not crying but i'm sorry this is about being left out in the cold so people are possibly making fun of you and your sorrows and you know the problems that you're going through but you know in front of your face they're probably you know you know either saying you deserved it or they're laughing at you because maybe you were somebody who was a very happy person or something like that there's something about you that they don't like and so when they see you in turmoil or having problems they tend to be nasty behind your back and that's that's a typical uh thing for everybody really when you're doing well all right look for this nine of rods this is about you know not knowing everything um we have the four of cups here somebody may make you an offer in this court because all the information is not there or somebody may have found out the uh, truth about something and they're wanting to make an offer I, i'd say i say that you kind of investigate this uh, a little further because they might know that that thing that you don't and that's why they're making you an offer right away because there is a, a, a they're making you an offer when it, it could be about finances or uh, the house or I don't know but somebody's trying to make you an offer because they may have found out some new uh, evidence of something and if you find out and you uh, say you want to fight it longer uh, there could be a chance that the other person uh, loses the court case because of this tidbit of information that somebody's hiding all right so I'd say you tell I say you tell the truth. Don't take any offers right now, okay? Uh, refuse the offers. Tell them you need time to think about this because this is a you know something going on here. Anything else for that nine of rods? Yeah, it's about equal give and take, right? Somebody's trying to take more in this case, and um, I'm I'm telling you what, don't take any offers right now. Uh, it's Mercury retrograde, so you know they say and not to. Uh, make any decisions but when you have no choice you have no choice right um maybe you shouldn't take that offer um i'm just saying you know uh anything else for that nine of wands somebody might be trying to confuse another person into admitting something that they admitting guilt to something they didn't do or whatever whatnot um i'm getting that somebody may have been under the influence or something like that male or female doesn't matter men can be under the influence too and be taken advantage of um but somebody is trying to take more from somebody yeah look and it has to do with third party heartbreak so there was somebody here there was somebody here that you know went outside the relationship but the other person doesn't seem too heartbroken uh, about this i'm feeling like um somebody might be with a person that they didn't really like and that other person that joined in or came in is the one they do like so they're not really upset or heartbroken over this because they didn't like the partner that they're legally bound to anyways also um gosh what a weird <laughs> also so that's why somebody's trying to be creative here and get all they can because the intention when this person got into union with this other person by some contractual agreement like marriage or whatever uh this person's plan originally was to schmooze them of whatever they 
had, their money, their assets, whatever, because low-key in the background, somebody had interest in someone else, but they were trying to possibly take advantage here, okay, that sucks, that really sucks, all right, so that's why one person in this situation is not heartbroken, or, or maybe, you know, two of them, maybe the two that were together are not heartbroken, because maybe that one that they tried to schmooze off of, um, just wants this to end anyways, right, that's what I'm saying, just speak your truth, right, just say what you know, don't add any extra, don't make up any stories, because I have a feeling that one side is going to do that, they're going to make up some stories, or they're going to, something is, something is not right here, and somebody's going to get in trouble for it, to see how much time okay all right <clears throat> so why is this two of pentacles here why is this two of pentacles here why is this two of pentacles right here really nice day. The breeze is nice. I didn't realize it was going to blow the cards like that, but you know what? It's worth it to be out here in this nice um, nature. So the first card that came out is a two of wands, and then we have the two of pentacles, okay? So what I'm getting here is that somebody might be in a court battle, and it's uh, one male and two females, right? also getting that these two females are jugglers so somebody may have may have gotten shacked up with one of these females one's very passionate one's got some dough um one of them may have gotten pregnant but they're like i have a feeling they're like party girls okay they're both holding flowers right So this could be that somebody's in court over some sort of fertility issue because they were partying, they were out partying, somebody here got pregnant, right? But these are party girls anyways, so somebody got pregnant, um, somebody got one of these party girls pregnant and they decided to keep the child because I think this is a same-sex uh, situation. And, of course, when you're same-sex, you can't have children, but they went ahead and got pregnant. And so they are just trying to schmooze off the person who got them pregnant, whichever one, or both. Oh, my gosh, I hope not both, but um, either way, um, they're trying, What the one that got pregnant uh, married the one that got them pregnant, trying to schmooze off that person but low-key still in the party girl mode, both of them, and still doing the most. Yeah, so there is an issue with fertility and infidelity and deception on the part of possibly some women trying to um, schmooze someone for their money because basically two lesbians, one of them married, got married to a straight person to take care of the child or so they could get money or so they didn't you know take the they didn't have to do in, in in vitro or whatever right something like that that's just that's weirdy stuff that's weirdy stuff don't manifest that dude don't manifest that into your life please all right the hanged man why is the hanged man here why is this a hung jury right i'm feeling like that why is the hanged man here why is the hanged man here? Why is the hanged man here? Alright, so first one is the Knight of Wands. So somebody is not a player. So somebody might be accusing somebody of being a player, but they're not. Alright, and look, somebody's not going to take that offer. Good choice, I feel like. So that's why we're at this point right now. 
somebody's not a player. Somebody tried to be on the straight and narrow, but there were some party people involved here. Right? Yes, I have the feeling they're people from the past. Somebody knew these girls from the past. They maybe in the past were a player themselves, but because they got married, they try to do the, the right thing, right? But when it comes to the court here, somebody is going to claim they're they're not do they're not doing that those passions anymore. Tell the truth if that's the truth, you tell the truth, uh, and that um, that you don't want to take this offer that someone's offering because somebody found something out. Okay, and it could be somebody finding out about this scheme to take advantage of this individual because they didn't have maybe they didn't have the money to do in vitro and have their own family or whatever whatnot because you can't an adoption is very strict and so maybe these two were unable or did not qualify to adopt or something like that okay so somebody didn't take the offer because they found out somebody's scheme right very good at the bottom of the deck look we have the the knight of of swords so somebody's finding out the truth about something what is this seven of blades here tell us about this seven of blades seven of blades seven of blades this is a theory two deck you guys sorry to mention seven of blades Okay, yeah, so we, there's that Queen of, of Pentacles again. So the deception lies with this Queen of Pentacles. So somebody may be involved with the Queen of Wands and their little party partner, their, you know, their low-key, same-sex relationship person is with the Queen of Pentacles, right? Something was preventing them from having family, possibly because of same sex. That is the deception. So they took advantage of an individual that they thought uh wouldn't care right but that person does care they do care about the child and they cared about the relationship but there was a scheme already at hand so you know what i'm saying yep there's going to be a conversation about this a heated debate there's going to be an argument and a fight that happens right here between this queen of wands and someone else right but there's going to be victory when it comes to that. The deception, deception, I feel like the deception is not going to happen, that there's going to be a victory in another direction, right? I feel like somebody is trying to deceive. They're trying to do this, but I feel because, you know, because this spider is here, and I see these little mini spiders walking around, um that there's going to balance is going to come out of this deception right somebody's going to have victory i don't think it will be um it'll be on the side of those two trying to manipulate this poor guy you know what i mean what was at the bottom of the deck yeah we have the ten of pentacles which is longevity so <clears throat> somebody might this i don't know i think there's a crime for that ten of cups look at that ten of cups and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? That's telling me right there that somebody here, just tell the truth, uh, stick with the facts, you know? Uh, eat, and maybe, I, I have a feeling somebody here might have wanted to, you know, cover for somebody and not let anybody know that they were bisexual or whatever. Maybe these are this is a friend of yours, but when it comes to this type of shit, this will break up friendships, especially when this kind of manipulation is going on. And, and once this is over, though, because maybe somebody doesn't want to let go because they feel like this is their forever thing, that this is their Ten of Cups, but it's not. Because once this ends, that's when somebody gets their forever and their happy family, happy home. But they got to get through this mess first, whatever this is right here. All right. How much time? Do we have time for some boggles? Yes, we do. So... <clears throat> Let's see what kind of letters come out here. And, you know, it could be somebody's first, middle, last, and middle. We can make a follower. We'll do three. All right, so the first we have two T's and an L. T, T, L. We also have N, W, and E. And then we have I, C, and M. Okay? So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today um, for this timeless nature read. 
Uh, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.